Hey, hey, Tony Gass is here. Just popping in real quick. I'm on the road, so y'all got to forgive me for my background scenery. <laughs> you don't have no control over that. But you know, I was looking at the um, Cat Williams. A few people wrote me about that Cat Williams, and I don't, I don't know if I reminded them of Cat Williams, or Cat Williams reminded them of me. Because I'm like, Cat Williams is a comedian. Like, he's not a life coach. Why is my inner circle sending me this interview. So I downloaded it before we got on the plane to come to London. And I was, and I watched majority of it, a good bit of at least an hour plus. And he did tell some, you know, stuff that we didn't know. And I could relate to him in the sense of what I get from him. I, I get from him that he got a lot of sense. I get from him, he have a lot of sense. And one thing, as a person of color in the industry, if you got a lot of sense, they really don't like to, they can't stop you from making money. They can't stop you from being who you going to be, but they can close the doors that they have the key to. So it's and and he spoke something that was that was very real and it's something that I've said. And if you pay attention, think about it. I have three and a half million followers online. I don't like the word followers, so I call it supporters. But that's the lie because everybody ain't supporting. Less than one percent of the three and a half million people I have online is actual supporters, and that's how the numbers work. But I could have, you have to ask yourself, why don't, why don't I have a TV show? Why don't I have like my own TV show? Why don't I have a radio show? Why don't I have, why haven't I had multiple TV shows? The thing about it is, is when you got integrity, like you got standards, you got smarts, you got common sense, they don't want to use you. They, they really want to promote the people that they feel like will be a pawn and they don't want to promote people that they feel could be a revolutionary. They don't want to promote people that they feel got knowledge and really know some things because they know you can upend some things. It's just like, remember the Malcolm X movie when he did that with his finger and everybody started marching and the man say, one, no one man should have all that power. That's how the industry at large feel. Like, Cat Williams had them specials and things of that, <clears throat> but they ain't give them a TV show like they gave Steve Harvey with said entertainer on there and like they gave Martin Lawrence and all of that. Like, if Cat Williams had a TV show and like Mark Curry and all the different comedians that had a TV show, if Cat Williams had a TV show, it... <laughs> It still would have. Y'all gonna forget my hair the noise, but I think that's my son. It still would have made him bigger than he already is, and he big. But it would have made him even bigger. And if he, if he had that TV show, but they didn't do that. And a lot of times what they do is they'll give people without sense. They'll promote people without common sense. They'll promote people without integrity. People was talking about the Monique thing and her talking to Steve Harvey. And he said, you know, you know how it is about that money. My integrity wouldn't let me do something because it's a money game. And it's a lot of people who just focused on money. And then they want people who got a checkered past because they know that people not going to take them serious. They want people who, and when I say checkered past, I mean like cancelable offenses. Like how they, when they got done with Russell Simmons, done with Bill Cosby, they bring out them offenses and let it go to the P. Diddy. They bring out them offenses. And, but they'll promote those people already knowing that's how they get down. But they, they promote them so that 
when they get to the top of the mountain and millions of black people believing in these people, they put a size 12 shoe in the middle of their back and kick them off the top of the mountain. And now we got to all watch these people fall to their proverbial brand death or suicide. And so that's what happens. And um, let me see that. It's London different, boy. <laughs> My son doing a little trial with a club over here. With a football club. It's London different. <laughs> and it ain't no, like, like if you go to the States, you could find somebody who got, like, a house that's big enough you could stay in a guest room or two. And over here, just like New York, well, you got that much space. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, it's just... You ain't finna be nobody guess. They barely got enough room for themselves. <clears throat> yeah, it's different over here. I don't know how to get out there to Notting Hill or something. <laughs> but that's what they try to do. And so, and I remember watching a couple of Cat Williams thing. It, it, it was not funny to me at all. It was more so like he was up there talking and I'm like, this sound like a history class he doing with a with a squeaky voice and a weird kind of accent. But I'm like, this don't feel like comedy. Like, I know he's funny, but to me, how I think, it was like a different kind of sermon. And I think that's what make him dangerous. And one thing that black people who are the real coons and the real simps, and the real whatever term it is, one thing they don't like is us black people who got a bite bone and who know who we are and know whose we are. Oh, Lord, y'all got to forget me. Put my bite pipe off, off this here little bed. I see, we had to get this place where we could have a kitchen because my son got to cook. He can't eat out. Like, you know, fast food and all that. We have to cook dinner every day. So y'all got to forgive me in this. What it is. But they don't like that. They won't. And so they got to go along to get along. And they got these people. And that's why you don't see me with everybody and with the industry. Because it's a line in the sand and, and everybody know who who. <laughs> Everybody know who who. But that's why people don't say. Ain't nobody really saying these people. Like, ain't nobody saying Cat Williams' name like that. Because they know he knows some stuff. And everybody knows who's who. So, I can relate to him in the sense of just seeing the real and what's going on out here. And then also knowing when you got to speak on it. And, yeah, stuff could get a little messy and all that. People call you hater, people this and that. But it just is what it is, you know. It just is what it is. <laughs> and then people try to dismiss it. Oh, he crazy. Oh, this and that. But it's really like they don't want to go back and forth. And that's the same thing how it be in my industry. They don't, they don't nobody want to go back and forth because everybody know. Everybody know. But what I want to tell you. This year is going to be a year of exposure in every sense of the word. People who need exposure to get a larger territory are going to get it. And people who need to be exposed are going to be exposed. And it's going to be a year of gossiping, backbiting, and lying too. So not everything, you can't believe everything you hear now. But, hey, get ready. Get your pen and pad. Take, take notes. Get lessons from all of it because it's finna... Keep going. This is the top of the year. 
We'll talk soon.